Let's go right into the word. Thank you, Sister Kim. Sister Kim is trying something today. Amen. And we're trying to take our church further than just this building. So if all turns out right, if it operates better than our video or tape recorder, which has been recording lately, uh, you'll be able to see this message on YouTube uh, coming up. Amen? Amen. And we'll send that around the world and say, come and see what God is doing at Open Door Fellowship. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. The answer might get you at the end. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, in Christ. He is a new creature. New creature. Mm -hmm. Old things uh -huh. are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Then I want to go to 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. To an inheritance incorruptible mm. undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved somebody say reserved reserve. in heaven for you uh -huh. verse 5 you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto Salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Now I want to read those, that Second Corinthians, and then I want to read it going right into First Corinthians because I want you to get the understanding of our message today. And it says, "Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature." Old things are passed away, mm -hmm. and behold, all things all become things. new. Yes. Then if you just keep reading, it says, new to an inheritance, incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven, reserved in heaven, for you, you who are kept. By the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Changed for my inheritance. I'm changed for my inheritance. If I have a witness, somebody help me repeat that. Say, I'm changed for my inheritance. My inheritance. Change to be different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Change to be unlike the rest. Mm -hmm. When you say, I'm going to change my clothes, that which you already had on now must come off uh, so you can put on something yes, else. Yes. Change. Yes. When you go to the store and they offer you uh, something you're going to buy and you give them a $20 bill, they will in return, if it's under 20, give you change. And now the Bible says that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, that all things are passed away. So that means in order for you to be in Christ, you must first be change. Uh, yes, oh, yes, yes. See, a lot of folk want to get saved and be in Christ. And a lot of folk want to get saved and say they're Christians, but they don't want to experience change. Right. Mm. Listen, you can't be saved still doing the same sins you've done before Christ saved you. Amen. Oh, I got quiet on that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you used to cuss and swear before God saved you, your cussing and swearing will leave your temple. Mm -hmm. If you used to fornicate before God saved you, the spirit of fornication will leave your temple. Uh -huh. If you used to lie and cheat before God saved you, when he saved you, that old man has to come off and the new man because I am somebody shall change. change. So understanding that, 
we must realize that even though we experience change, there are some things that should not change. You change from what you used to be, but that doesn't mean that the church changes with you. Uh oh, it's gonna get a little deep in here. See, see, you change because God is taking your old man and putting in you a new man. But a lot of folk come to church and think that since I've been changed, now you got to change. But I want to share something with you. There's nothing like the old time religion. Uh huh. That, that, that's a 38-year-old man saying that. 39 on November 22nd. So surely, amen. And, and, and knowing this, we come to church and want the church to change for us. Now, what right, that means, right, we'll get right. a little deep in here, Kim. Mm -hmm. Stay with me on that camera. Good luck. <laughs> if you come to church and you make up your own rules that bend to what you think Salvation is. Wow. You have to change. I'm trying to help somebody mm -hmm. here. Because it gets, it's getting on me, Anthony, mm -hmm. that we'll change for everything else. Right. But we won't change for the word of God. Come on, Pastor. Wow. Yes. Yes. Pastor, I would get saved, but I'm trying to be cool with my friends in school. You don't want to change. Pastor, I would be saved, but my family don't understand what that means. They think we're a cult. You don't want to be changed. See, when you can start giving excuses every time to take uh, and, and what and to to you know, this is my excuse for not being mm -hmm. saved. It's because you don't want to be saved. Well, my grandma used to tell me either you saved or you're not. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now that's real old school, Kelly. Because today we say, well, you're in the process of it. And you're taking your time, and God's dealing with you. And you're saved right now. You're just taking your time to get to where you have to be. And we're going to be patient with you as you take your time and continue to fornicate and shack up and do all that stuff. But just feel saved. My grandma said, you saved or you're not holiness or hell. It's going to get a little deep here. Now, what happens is God comes into your heart and he saves you and he comes into your soul and he saves you. And you got all this power and you're excited and stuff. But one thing that takes place is your flesh remembers. Somebody say your flesh. Your flesh, your flesh remembers how much fun you Bring used to have. Bring it down. And what happens now is your flesh is battling your Spirit. spirit. Your spirit says, no, nah, man, I don't do that no more. And your flesh is saying, yeah, but don't you remember that last time we was there, man? And your spirit is saying, yeah, but God is in me right now. And your flesh is saying, yeah, but if you just do it this time, nobody will see you. And your spirit is saying, I see you. Mm -hmm. The reason we need to be changed is because we have an inheritance waiting for us. What is an inheritance? Mm -hmm. An inheritance is something that is passed down to you by someone else. Yes. Are you, are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. it's, it's something passed down, down by someone else. else. And God said that I have an inheritance from me that is passed down to those of you who desire to live holy. Because I have an inheritance, but it's only for those oh. ah, yes, sir. who are changed. changed. My inheritance is not designed for everybody. I didn't just put this inheritance and say, here, you can have it. I don't care how you live. No, my inheritance is designed for those that are a part of me. And if you want to go on and do all of your sin and do all your mess and still yeah. think you saved, you go ahead. But when it comes time for the lawyer, when it comes time for Jesus to open the book, oh, that yeah. Lamb's book of life, and your name is not in the book, don't you get mad? God says you lost your inheritance oh, yeah. when you didn't sign on the dotted line. My inheritance, my, my inheritance that God gave me gives me a purpose to live. My inheritance that God gave me gives me a desire to want to go on. Yes. The inheritance that God gives me gives me a hook. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. See, I don't live saved to try and try and impress you. I'm living saved because God said I have an inheritance. Hallelujah. I got an inheritance Thank you. that you can't take from me. And I got it the day that I said, Lord, I accept you in my life. That's it. And, and when I accepted the Lord in my life, he gave me a manual. This is how you keep your inheritance. This manual, B-I-B-L-E. 